I've already got two of them mounted to the concrete. We're gonna hang a gate off of this side and then we're gonna put a latch post right here. Let's get right to it and we'll show you how we do cedar fence on top of concrete. Uh, I've already got the holes marked out where they need to be drilled, so we're gonna go ahead and just drill straight in. So we drilled a half inch hole in the concrete there, and what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a half inch concrete anchor. This is like a concrete lag screw. They're awesome is what they are, because a typical concrete screw is something that you pound in the, in the concrete, and you put a nut on it, and you suck it back out, and then you cut it off. These, you don't have to cut them off. Whoever invented them, you're a genius. Yeah, they are half inch by three, and that's my anchor of choice. right before I started putting the anchors in there and I took the leaf blower and I blew all the dust out. That is a very important key step uh, because you don't want to create a barrier in between the top of the concrete and the bottom of that flange. What's going to happen over time if you do that, it's going to naturally compact, it's going to settle. That's going to be all sorts of loosey-goosey and you don't want that. Now I'm using shims to level this thing out. The shims that I'm using are not wood, they are composite, so nothing will ever happen to them. If you were to use a wood shim in this, eventually what's gonna happen is it's gonna compress, it's gonna smash, and it's gonna rot. You're gonna have all sorts of loosey-goosey. If you don't wanna use a composite shim, you can also use stacks of washers. Those work really good too. This is just what I prefer because it's nice and easy. So what we do is we don't tighten those all the way down, and then we put the shim in there. Bloop. Hey, get out of here, dang kids. Fencing's not a spectator sport, get to work. There's one more thing I'm going to do before we just go ahead and start building and that is I'm going to go ahead and further set these concrete anchors. So you saw me put them in with this and this is a great tool to put them in with because it doesn't hit too hard, especially at the very beginning. If you use something like this at the very beginning, if you go in too fast and if you go in crooked, you can actually chip out the concrete. So I want to go ahead and set these, so I'm just going to hit it once on each screw and just set it. I got a little bit more movement out of that lag. It worked out really good. Take a knife, score your shim, and it'll break right where you scored it at. Now I already went through and I pre-ran these through a table saw and ripped them right in half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut them to length. We're gonna make them 60 inches tall. And I'm just gonna use a speed square. What we're gonna do with these is they're gonna go on our gate opening. So you're gonna have one go right here, one go on the other side, and then one go over here, and on the other side of that latch post. We're just going to match up to the top. I think four screws for that's pretty adequate. So the screws we're using are inch and five eighths stainless steel. Because there's tannic acid in the cedar, if you put a regular screw in there, what's going to happen is it's going to leave that black streak. Maybe you've seen that black streak I'm talking about. Ow! So now what we have is we went and cut our pickets here. So normally what we do is we use our nails here, but since we're just putting on a few measly pickets, we're just gonna go ahead and use screws. Just this one time. They just take longer. We're doing a five foot tall cedar fence, horizontal. We're using the thickness of a picket, a picket as our spacer. And no pickets have to be ripped.
See, this method is just, oh, I just realized I don't have my trim picket on there. So we're gonna go ahead and match our hinges on our gate here. We're gonna put these couple little things on. And we gotta have these in order for our hinges to be on the same plane. So we're gonna put a little bit of a gap in it, match our tops. And that's how we accommodate for that one that runs into the post. Perfect. If you don't know what this is called, and you're like, oh, that's an awesome latch. Make sure and see the link below. This is a paddle latch, and what you can do is you can actually lock this, but open it from both sides. So you can put a little padlock here and lock out, or you can put a padlock here and lock it out. Opens all the way. Now, if you want to see us build this gate from scratch, make sure and see this video. And if you want to see us build horizontal fence from scratch, make sure and see this video. Don't forget, we are Wyoming's Fence Company, and you have a good dang day.